Okay, so with this model, I can see a few problems, uh, especially with the top. Everything else looks looks just fine, like it should be. Uh, for I can see some shading issues here, which uh, I'm gonna get into later. But first, the first thing I want to do is uh, show you how to fix the top. Um, so I can see that what needs fixing is almost the whole top of uh, the lid area here including these faces and the reason I say that is because you can see there's a difference between the top and everything else you can see this is a lot smooth and this looks uh, like you can really see the edges here uh, that kind of tells me that there's some problem with the geometry there so I'm going to click on the object to see that um, We get close to this face so it looks like there's another face here between this face and this face it's kind of difficult to even select it but I can see that because there's an edge loop going here and then there's this one so if I try to move this one up you can kind of see that it looks like this one's on top of this face so now I can reveal the uh, the actual geometry that follows this one all the way up. And now I can actually see that there's an extra face between this and that. So we need to fix that. And that seems to go all the way for all these faces. And that's why we have also this face here. Okay, so instead of trying to go crazy and trying to fix this uh, manually, which would be a pain, uh, the easiest way would be just to delete everything. Not the whole object, but just the top. So that would be the easiest way. Because it, lo it almost looks like we have duplicated geometry somehow. And I'm guessing the um, it is possible that you uh, extrude it more than once by mistake and sometimes it's difficult to see that and also when you go to edit mesh make sure keep faces together is enabled so that's also one of the problems that could have caused the extra face here between these two okay so let's go ahead and delete the whole top so I'm just going to drag and select all the top faces and I'm going to increase my selection uh, you can do so by going to select and grow selection that's going to grow that and I'm just going to hit delete so I can delete that okay and I think let's see this face is the one I moved earlier I think yeah and these are separate as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete those as well. Oops. Let's see. I think the easiest way to do that is I don't want to select one by one. It's going to be too painful. So if I go back, Control C. Okay. Let's go back to the row selection. Let's do that one more time. see one more time okay, so now selected this but we don't want this to be selected so I'm going to hold down control and drag control if you hold down control that deselects uh, some of the faces that's to deselect faces okay so control deselect okay so that's what I want to delete so I'm going to delete that and as we can see now we have deleted everything that didn't look very good to begin with so that was the easiest way just to fix that but now we have a hole here so we want to fix that so to fix this hole select one face and go to mesh fill hole okay and now we have a, a, a huge face here which is what we know as an end gun or a face with more than four sides and we, we don't want that so to fix that 
and make it so that it goes back to what it what we want it to be uh, we go to edit mesh make sure you have the face selected and go to edit mesh uh, poke face and as you can see now what it does is it uh, connects everything at the center of this face from every vertex okay so now we are back to where we can actually work with this and continue to model the soda here so if you want to top lid again you can go to edit mesh extrude move that app like this uh, press G to extrude one more time okay and now we can actually go to the select grow selection press R to scale you can scale that so that we can get this back to the way it was and from here you can continue to follow the uh, video that I have for for how to model this which is that you go to the extrude and press R and scale that so from here you just continue with the video and make sure that under edit mesh keep faces together should be enabled if if it's not enabled this is what's going to happen let me show you disable to select the faces so now if I go to edit mesh as you can see I get that which is not what I want so I can see that that's possibly what happened here uh, so make sure under edit mesh keep faces together is enabled let me go back I'm going to enable that and this time if I select that and I go to extrude everything's fine and working the way it should be okay that's pretty much how you fix that I also noticed something else for this model which is uh, you can see some shading here looks like a sharp edge uh, which is probably this all you do is go to vertex mode looks like you deleted an edge somehow uh, select that edge uh, hold down shift and select the other edge and go to edit mesh connect component okay so now you have that edge back and we don't want this one and to delete this one hold down control backspace or you can also go to edit mesh delete edge vertex and now that fixes that so that's pretty much uh, how to fix this it's not too complicated it's just about just about deleting the whole top and redoing that and that's actually the easiest way of doing it instead of instead of starting all over you just fix the top